A blessed day to everyone. Today is November 6, 2022, and I'm Sister Bobot Arpello, and I would like to encourage you through God's Word. Today, our topic is, You're a Winner. According to 1 John chapter 2, verse 14, <clears throat> I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the Word of God abideth in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Praise God for his word. Man was created to be a winner. The Bible tells us so. We read in Genesis, for example, that man was originally put on this earth as a dominating Lord. God gave him dominion over the earth and everything that crept, flew, crawled, and breathed there. Man didn't even know what losing was until he separated himself from God through disobedience in the Garden of Eden. When that happened, he ran headlong into defeat. <clears throat> he was forced to accept failure as his lot in life, lowering him himself to a subordinate position, a position he was never meant to occupy. It's a sad story, but if you're a born-again child of God, your story has a, happy, has a happy ending. Through faith in Christ Jesus, you've been made a winner once again. In fact, God has guaranteed your success. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine you're about to tackle a really tough, tough job, and before you even get started on it, God speaks to you right out loud and says, I just want you to know I'm going to personally see to it that this project you're working on succeeds. Well, let me tell you something. You do have God's promise that you'll succeed. He said in his word that you're an overcomer. In him, you can overcome any problem the world throws your way. 1 John chapter 5, 1 to 5. It doesn't matter how much you feel like a loser. It doesn't matter how, how many times you've failed in the past. If you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, then you'd become more than a conqueror in Him. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Does that mean you won't have any more trouble? No. It simply means that you can go through that trouble and emerge triumphant. If you've been feeling like a failure lately, renew your mind to the Word of God that says you're a success. <clears throat> Every time a challenge comes up, respond by saying, well, praise God, I can beat this thing because I'm an overcomer in Jesus. Let that word from God abide in your heart. It will make a winner out of you. For more scripture reading, you can go to 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. Hallelujah. Praise God for his great reminder to all of us that truly we are an overcomer and we are a great winner because we have Jesus in our hearts. So let us always remember whatever happens in our surroundings, whatever happens in our lives, let, let us always be reminded that we were born to be an overcomer because we have Jesus in our lives. So let's thank the Lord that he helps us overcome and succeed all the things that we are doing in our lives. That is his promise to us, that he will uh, make us successful in everything that we do. And let us always remember that everything that comes our way, we are always victorious. Because in the name of Jesus, there is victory. So God is so good in reminding us that we don't need to feel a loser because we are born to be victorious in his name. So a blessed day to everyone and may God bless us all. To God be all the glory.